Hey guys, this is Boricua Binks, and welcome to Let's Play Zero Time Dilemma. In the last episode, we finished off Triangle for now, and then we went with uh, D-Team to finish off the shower room, uh, the decontamination room. And, uh, yeah, Diana, I don't know exactly if Zero was telling the truth or not, but it sounds like she was a little, um, naughty, you know? It sounds like she had figured out how to kind of avoid taking responsibility for killing all those teams, um, all those people, by some kind of, like, split personality thing, and I don't know. It was weird the way he explained it, so who knows if he's telling the truth or not. But right now, we're gonna finish off the same thing with C-Team. Uh, should be interesting, because I think I remember Carlos had thrown Junpei to the side to avoid having, uh, Junpei push the button. And yet, now we're gonna have Carlos push the button, so... <laughs> Talk about hypocritical, right? Here we go. And honestly, that that stupid uh, that idea about the alien hand syndrome. I mean, I know Fi was just trying to come up with an idea of why Diana did what she did, but I don't know, man. Who knows? <laughs> what are they gonna say here? Carlos. Why? No, no, Akane. <sighs> hey, um, you did good, Carlos. <laughs> no. Junpei, you've dedicated your life to saving people, so this is probably hard for you. But what you did is... Stop, stop! Carlos! It wasn't me! Someone took my hand and... Uh, you're not going to say the devil made you do it. I'm the devil. You? Made me? Uh, maybe it's stress, or you've always had that urge, very deep down inside. <laughs> Blamed your bad judgment calls on something controlling you? Jeez. Come on, it, it's just part of being human. Uh, life experiences. You made a wise decision. Ugh, this sucks. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. <laughs> Inferno's right. They're always like, Zero. <laughs> oh, shut up. Blah, blah, blah. But why? Uh, it is 1929. Time for good kids to be in bed, or something. Ah, <laughs> uh, Junpei's such a douche in this game, but I still love him. Ugh. I killed all of them. Carlos. I'm sorry I made you do it. I didn't want to either. <laughs> But the game, man, it's just the way the game goes. Alright, we finished first come, first saved for all teams now. Now we get to see the terrible results. Yep, everybody's gone. So, let's... Oh, now we have to see D-Team die again. I don't care about Q-Team, but... D-Team, no! Sigma! And Diana and Fi. I love Sigma. Why is it that the male characters are always my favorites? <laughs> Although I do love Fi. This is... The decontamination room. Decontamination? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Huh. This is weird. Weird? I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. You must be imagining things. I guess. This button. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, something isn't right. Maybe we've forgotten about this place. The drugs and the bracelets? What? Why can't we fast forward this? Oh no. I don't wanna... No! 
<laughs> Look away. Oh God! I can't. Ugh. Must not look. I just ate too. <laughs> Ugh, do not look. It's awful. Ugh. Casualties. Q team. Q. Mira. Eric. D team. Diana. Bye. Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. Self. Rip. Lake. Bird. Twin. Old. That is all. That's right. I. Wow, uh, that was fast. Huh. We put these passwords in and we can reach the surface. But to get them, the other teams... Uh... It's not your fault, Carlos. I've been busting my ass for the past 10 years. I wanted to save as many lives as I could. I worked hard to do that. Leucochloridium. Or Spinocordodes teleniae. Have you heard of either of these, Carlos? Uh, why are you suddenly... They inhabit and control the actions of creatures larger than them. Parasites. Are you suggesting we were controlled by whatever that was you said? Leucochloridium are snail parasites. Praying mantises and grasshoppers get Spinocordodes teleniae. So they don't attach to humans. Correct. I've heard of one, however, Toxoplasma gondii. Toxoplasma gondii? Rats with toxoplasmosis no longer fear their predator, the cat, and are in fact drawn to the smell of their urine. The rats are attracted to cats? For humans infected with Toxoplasma gondii, Changes in actions and personality have been reported. You become a risk taker, your reactions slow, or you become extremely sensitive. Are you saying Carlos pushed that button because of something like that? I don't know, but it's more realistic than saying you were possessed by a devil. A human controlling parasite. Huh. Are you guys ready? Yes. No problems here. All right. Then let's put in the passwords. Okay, guys. Let's input these passwords. Oh, boy. Okay. Self. Rip. Lake. Bird. Twin. And old. Now what's... I'm trying to figure out self, rip, and lake. Self... Rip is probably Mira. And lake is probably Eric because that's where he had to dump his brother's body. But why is Q self? It opened. It opened. Let's hurry. The door will close right away. Bird is Diana? Twin? Is that... Five? And... Why? 
I, I know these are always um, hints, so that's why I'm trying to figure it out. Hey, what? What uh -oh. are you standing around for? Carlos? Again. I... I can't leave with you guys. What? Huh? I thought I saw something strange, too. I made a promise in another history. Oh that my gosh, did he? He another shifted. History? What nonsense are you babbling about? Come on, hurry up! Later, guys. Carlos! Carlos! Hmm, interesting. How's he gonna save them if... I don't know how he's gonna do it. If this, the game is over in this history, so... Just hang on. I'm going to go see you now. Okay, he seems to know what he's doing. We haven't seen that storyline yet, so that's interesting. Okay, cool. So he didn't stay behind because he felt guilty like the others. He stayed behind because it was a different Carlos. Interesting. I like that. Alrighty, so... Who can we play with now? Huh. Hasn't opened yet. Hmm. Okay. Keep checking to see if places have opened. <sighs> what about anything here? Opening now? No. Um. Do I have? Should I just start the the new fragment here in D team? It has an exclamation mark, so might as well. <laughs> Why not? New uh, fragment. Here we go. Transporter. Oh, okay then. Oh no, Five's not here. This is. Oh, she must Where's be dead. I? They don't know I yet. I don't see her. She could have woken first and wandered off. Oh. Um. Sigma? Sigma? Huh? It's after midnight now. What? Tell me the year turned over. It's no longer the year 2028, but... 2029. How long okay. I don't like how loud um, sometimes the music and stuff is, so it's hard to hear. Okay, Zero that sounds time better. Dilemma. That keeps bugging me this whole time, so I hope that's okay for you guys. Sleep then. My last memory was ten and a half hours ago. You're talking about the vote at thirteen thirty. Yes, but that doesn't mean we've only been sleeping, though. We could have woken up several times. You're saying the amnesia drug made us forget. Well, better start looking for Phi. Yes, you're right. Cab! Oh, they're not locked in a room, so they're actually looking for her. Oh, that's so sad. They don't realize because they forgot. Oh, this must be after the incinerator. Okay, we've done all these rooms already, so... Hmm. Except for this one. This is the last of the rooms. That's fine. Where'd she go? Welcome to the transporter Zero. room. <laughs> Zero. I can only assume you are searching for Jerk. something. If you'd like to learn their whereabouts, do as I say. Damn it! So what are your orders? First, I shall explain the room to you. As the name suggests, this room contains a device called a transporter. 
It was discovered roughly 140 years ago, in the year 1888, at the South mm -hmm. Pole. A German expedition was exploring the area. At one point, they became lost, and subsequently stumbled upon it. The device was carefully transported to their homeland and researched in secret. What they eventually uncovered was the fact that the device was not made by man. Perhaps it came from a distant planet or some alternate world. Regardless, they determined the intelligence that created it far surpassed that of humans. Despite not understanding how it worked, they figured out what it was used for. This device is capable of transporting things through space-time. Hence why it was named Transporter. But its construction is much different from what you'd normally expect. If you look toward the back left corner, you'll see something resembling a tree root. This is the nucleus of the Transporter and controls its function. To your right, you should be able to see two objects that look like bats. These are called input pods. Look further right. The two objects similar to the Pusanides are the export pods. In the back is a large container called the material tank. Inside is oxygen, carbon, hydrogen. Nitrogen, a variety of chemical elements that exist on Earth, stored individually. You use it as follows. First, place the material to be transferred into the input pod. We'll call it X to simplify matters. Next, select the location of transfer on the pod console. Pulling the lever will cause the input pod to begin scanning. This scan reads the exact placement of each atom that makes up Object X. The obtained data travels through space-time directly to the transfer point's nucleus. That nucleus will then analyze it. It will send the necessary elements from the material tank to the export pod and recreate Object X's original form precisely. Essentially, it acts as an atomic-level 3D printer. A massive amount of energy is required to do a transfer. Once a transportation has occurred, it takes roughly 10 months to recharge. The device cannot be used during that time. A variety of objects can be placed in the same pod, however. In order to transfer a human, each pod must only hold one body within it. Two or more people cannot go into a single pod. It is very difficult to recreate individual brains and proteins. I obtained this machine back in 2009. It had been stored in a U.S. research facility. American troops had confiscated it after the German loss during World War II. My explanation ends here. There is a special characteristic about this device, however. This transporter is not simply a device that allows you to teleport. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. Furthermore, that data travels through space-time. It does not just go to the past or present, but also to other histories. Now, my instructions. Currently, no power runs through the transporter nucleus. It is completely stopped. If you are able to restart it, 
you may obtain that which you desire. Oh, I know you'll do your best. Good luck to you. Oh boy, guys, here we go. Oh god, that was crazy. Everything he just said, I can't believe they're bringing alien technology into this game. What's this, a card? Okay, flower card. What's this? I'm not sure, a flower maybe? A flower, I guess now that you've said it, it does kind of look like one. Um, okay. I see a few more over there. Human and Moon card. Hmm. There's one there. Oh, didn't let me... Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, there's a card here too. A star card. And... What's this machine? Do you know, Sigma? I don't... I don't. It looks fragile. I think something goes into the vertical and horizontal axes. Axes. <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah. Who knows? We'll figure it out later. Okay, sorry about that. Oh, you're right! That means we probably can't use it now. Okay. <clears throat> There's a card over here, and Birdman. We've seen that symbol before. So this whole alien thing, hmm, I thought it was Paloxian. I don't see anything useful. I was trying to click on the card! This thing. Card here, two... Human and two moons. Hmm. There's that symbol again. What is this? What's this? I have no idea. I've never seen it before. Of course not. Nothing happens when you touch it. The surface is cold. Oh, okay. What else we got? How about those drawers? Nothing? Oh yeah, I tried already. Uh, another card. Two moons. Another card. Sun. What else we got? This big thing here. Is this the Nucleus Zero described? It looks creepy. Tell me about it. He said the nucleus of the transporter controls its function. According to him, we need to restart it. How are we going to do that? Hmm. We'll figure it out. More cards. A human card. Moon and star. And what are these? Uh, more cards, okay. Yeah, we'll check out the everything else in a minute. Go to humans. Okay, I just want to get all these cards because it seems like there's so many of them. Wind card. Three moons card. I think the cards are gonna go in that machine thing we saw, but I don't know. I don't know for sure. Uh, okay, let's go back to over here. Pea pods. <laughs> this was an in pot input pod, right? I think a person could lie down in there. Looks like a lidded bed, just like Zero said. Sounds a lot like a coffin. Ooh, creepy. I'm used to getting into a pod, but now I just feel terrible. What do you mean you're used to getting into a pod? What does that even mean? I'm confused. <laughs> this is an output pod. It looks like an insect pupa. Pupa. Or chrysalis. Is it pupa or pupa? Oh, then when you use the transporter, you are reborn from it as well. Huh. That's an interesting way of putting it. Oh, see? Oh, that's an interesting point of view. Maybe that was the idea behind its design. That also brings the idea that organisms that form pupa exist in foreign civilizations. Not just foreign, extraterrestrial, apparently. Um, 
What else we got? What's this? What is this stand? It's likely some sort of device, but I'm not sure what kind. Okay. And what's this? It says place cards here. Oh. It says place cards here. Let's try with this card. Yeah, go ahead. Oh. Oh, one of the lights above turned on. Huh, did the color of this card change? Oh yeah, it did change. It's green now. I thought it was already like this. No, it was something darker, I think. Yeah, it was like blue. Regardless, we still don't know everything. Um, okay. Let's uh, put all the cards then. Oh, one more light turned on. Maybe we need to... Yeah, yeah. I guess I need something too. Change it to a different color. Now we can tell which ones we've already done. So let's keep going. It's going to take a while. Mm -hmm. Light turned on. Let's put another one. Let there be light. Birdman card. Now we have five. Okay. And the seventh. You guys have to comment every time. <laughs> Eighth. It's on. How's the ninth? Okay. Okay. <laughs> he says the same thing. Uh, he stopped saying. He's like, how we, uh, <laughs> I don't have to comment every single time. <laughs> Ugh, just how many are there? How many times must we do this? Damn you, Zero. <laughs> He's so frustrated. C calm down, Sigma. I think there's only one more left. That's funny. <laughs> I was just thinking kind of the same thing. <laughs> Here goes the last one. Alright. Huh, what's that? A book? Let's check it out. A computerized book? This is a hologram stereoscopy. Wow, incredible! There's a picture in the air? Is it okay to touch? Should be fine, but why? It is only a picture after all. You can't feel it. Isn't poking your hand through the hologram fun? <laughs> try my Come on, try it! Okay, chapter one. Wind equals zero. That is the wind one, I think. Ah, uh, that's it? That's not very helpful. <laughs> Short chapter. Oh, it's telling me I have to go... Oh, wait, what's this? What? Something's happening over at the nucleus. Birdman, 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 Flower, and Human. I wonder what it is. Let's go see. It's not just me, is it? These symbols look like the pictures on the cards. Yes. You're right. They're each a separate shape. Just what do they mean? We don't know yet. We'll have to go over to that uh, other machine, I believe. Oh, something came out. I don't think these cars can fit here. Uh... Oh, I'm putting... Wait. There's four slots here, though. It's not gonna work. Uh, I don't know yet. Hmm, what should we input here? Pretty sure we use the cards. Just don't really understand this. Yeah, I don't either yet. Okay, we'll be back. Um. What do we do here? Don't know yet. It's a monitor, not showing anything.
Locker won't open. Just a change of clothes. This drawer doesn't open. Alright, let's uh, go over to this side here and put a card. Isn't this bracket just about the size of those cards? Why, yes, it is. Let's try putting one here. The wind. Oh! What the heck? What does this mean? And what was the giggle? The symbol we used disappeared. Maybe it means the symbol on the other side was stronger. Well, this one means zero, so... Okay. Uh, is this gonna help us figure out numbers for the cards? Let's try again. Flower. Birdman is higher than flower. But there's so many symbols, it's gonna take forever! We lost, but why? We, he just said it. Oh no. Let's try Birdman. Wait, they both destroy each other? But they're the same. So they cancel each other out. Uh, okay. What else can we put? There's so many! I How am I supposed to figure this out? This is annoying. I really don't like this. Our card was stronger? Oh, guys, I'm gonna be doing a lot of editing. Um, so that's gonna be it for this episode. I will get back with you guys in the next one when I figure this out, okay? Thanks for watching!